Okay, here we are again at Home Lacey House, which is, as mentioned, which nestles in the in the Wye Valley. We're about 20 minutes from Moss on Wye and about 10 miles um, or probably less from, from Hereford. This magnificent mansion in beautiful grounds of uh, restored um, gardens. We've got ponds, we've got some beautiful mature trees and we've got some woodlands at the back, some fantastic habitat here. This, this uh, mansion is now a hotel and it has many visitors passing through. It has also has other residents in here that live um, live in the house. Not many people know about them, certainly the visitors don't, and they're lesser horseshoe bats. They're here every year, they've been coming here for a number of years. They um, arrive in May and they leave in around about September. And initially we thought they were living in the attic, um, but we have since found that they're probably more likely to be living in the basement area. And because this beautiful old mansion has loads of dumbwaiter shafts and many other shafts with old heating systems, we believe that the lesser horseshoe bats are actually commuting from the basement and travelling up through the shafts up into the attic area. And when they get to the attic area, these huge roof voids allows them to fly around and light sample. So they light sample going to, to the light or to the open window which is left open for them by the hotel all year round. As I mentioned earlier, we have two, two types of bats in the, um, in the UK. We have two fa um, families, which are the Vespa bats and the horseshoe bats. And the horseshoe bats are very distinctive by their uh, nose leaf that they have, which surrounds their nostrils. And this is how they echolocate. They echolocate through their, through their nostrils. They also have very large ears, quite large ears, not as long as, as, as the, the brown long ears, but their ears actually um, have, uh, they don't have a tragus and when they hang up they actually move quite a lot so they're actually scanning their surroundings and if you see a little horseshoe hanging up you will also see it moving its body and you'll see the ears twitching so it's actually scanning to see what's around it. When they exit the, the uh, hotel of a night they actually come down and they drop quite close to the floor they actually are about six inches off the ground they have very short wings uh, short broad wings and what with this very sophisticated echolocation they're, allowed, they're, they, they're very agile flyers so they, um, they tend to be very good in very cluttered environments like woodlands and when we saw them last uh, the last couple of weeks they were actually disappearing into quite dense hedgerow when they were coming out of the hotel dropping across the gravel track and they literally were disappearing in the hedge and the hedge was, the hedge was very very dense they will then off, go off into their, into their uh, foraging grounds, which I would have probably would assume is going to be the woodland, which sits just behind the hotel, um, because that's the kind of environment which they will be feeding in. Mm -hmm.